<laughs> nice review, I mean. I mean, terrible review, but nicely written. Thank you, Barbara. <laughs> oh, this came to my office, but it's for you. Don't forget the staff meeting at 3. You guys have really been practicing. Well, we have a lot of empty hours to fill. Oh, she's right. The acting jobs have totally dried up. But we managed to make ends meet. I'm teaching low energy yoga, and Michelle's doing cat seances again. And you make money at that? Last night I conned this old coot. I told him that his dead cat had left a lottery ticket somewhere in the house. <laughs> and he believed me. <laughs> now he wants me back once a week. At a hundred bucks a pop. <laughs> oh, good, good. I was worried about you guys. I mean, aging sisters on a fixed income forced to live together. Remember when you guys hated each other? Oh, well, now we love each other, don't we, Barbara? I think adore is a more accurate term. What do you want? Hi, I'm here to uh, pick up Barbara. We have a date. Oh, I don't think so. She's in bed already. Was that Kevin? No. That was somebody from the Gary Johnson campaign. Well, shoot. I wonder what happened to Kevin. It looks like he stood you up. Well, I guess I better change out of this dress then. And you're certain my agent didn't call? Absolutely positive. No, my sister isn't here right now. I need you to give her a message. It's important. Whatever. They want her to come in and read for producers tomorrow morning at 7 a.m. Oh, how exciting. I will absolutely tell her the second she gets in. If I remember. <laughs> so disappointing. I had such a good audition. Oh, well, better luck next time. When we were little, we both used to run to the car to sit next to Daddy when he would drive the station wagon to the grocery store. And Michelle always ran faster, and so she got there first. But one time, I got there first. And I slid into the car right next to Daddy. And Daddy said to me, he said, Ew, yuck. Switch places with your sister. Ew, yuck. My own daddy. And Michelle just laughed. So when she came up behind me on the landing, and she was going to push me down the stairs, I stepped back into the doorway of the bedroom and stuck out my foot, and I tripped her. What? I'm the reason she's in that wheelchair. Oh, and there's also a very interesting story out of Lincoln Heights about a devil cult moving into the neighborhood. Well, now that's pretty ridiculous. In this day and age, I mean, come on. Cats have gone missing. And apparently, a six-year-old boy was found wandering the streets naked with demonic symbols painted over his entire body. It's not working, Dr. McNulty. If anything, he's even more gay now than he was before we started treatment. Have you heard of aversion therapy? Animal regulation uses it on coyotes. I'll try anything. Just tell me what to do. You need to buy a gun. Do exactly as I say or everybody dies. <laughs>